Greetings Earthlings, I'm Jim with Ludic, and in this video I'm going to build out a Mars-based diner to show you Peak, a suite of futuristic workflow tools for Unity. Peak not only spares you of chores and saves you time, it allows you to finally work in your scene rather than in the interface panels around it. And the best way to show you everything Peak does is to do some level design work and talk through what I'm doing as I go along. I'll work with Unity's Snaps prototype assets first, and then I'll swap in art from the Buried Memories Sarek collection. I'll start by going into full screen so I have more space to colonize. All of my editor windows are available in these tabs in the top left corner, and I can access them via shortcut Alt, Shift, and a number. I want to check out the snaps assets I have to work with, so with my starting scene open, I'm dragging in the sample scene of all the parts. That way I can see everything before I start building. In a moment, I'll use Peak to spawn in the assets, so I want to look through them and make note of what they're called. So that's a door. And I thought I saw some floor pieces over here. The toolbar below the object is a part of what Peak is. All the Unity windows, like the inspector, are tucked away, and I can bring them up when I need them. For example, if I wanted to check what material this blue material is, I can click on the material component and see that it's called Machine Blue and, uh, you know, there's no emission on it. All the regular things that would be in the inspector are in the toolbar. I'm going to get right to building. I'm bringing up the hierarchy window to unload the sample scene. And then I'll put the project window to the side so it's easy to bring up, drag pieces in, and then close it away. So let's find a floor piece. Uh, that one's fine. Right-clicking on the transform icon reveals a few tricks, like resetting the position. And let's check the scale of this thing. I'll turn on the grid and resize it to 4x4. Four by, four. by left-clicking on the transform, I can check the scale. It's always a good idea to calibrate the scale to a figure, so I'm pressing Ctrl and Shift and clicking to use Peak's Create tool to summon a robot. To build this all out, I'm using the Create tool and Fuzzy Finder to bring in things from my project folder. I'm resetting the position and then snapping things in place. This gap here is a little tricky, but I found a piece called Armrest that fits nicely. The Finder and Icon previews are really helpful when you're looking through versions of the same asset. I'm gonna bring in a wall and duplicate it around. Then, just to add one more thing, I'll put in a pipe. You know, for warping. These models, of course, are prototype pieces, so I'm going to replace all this with finished art to see how it looks. I'm selecting the floor and then pressing Alt-R and typing just CH and floor. So you can see I don't need to type the whole chamber word. Uh, and the one I want is that one, the one with the stripe. All right, next up, let's replace the armrest. So I'll select this one, hold Shift, select the other one, Alt-R, and then I'll type armrest. And it was armrest zero, one. Okay, now we'll do all the walls the pipe and i have a few of those so this time i'm going to type pipe and then a str for straight there we go and then i'll do the doors now that all the corridor pieces are in place i'm selecting everything but the robot and the door i'm pressing Control g to group it up and i'll call it corridor piece to duplicate out this hallway i'll select one object press space select the parent object, and duplicate the corridor piece. Then I'll group up the door pieces and make another one. Now I'm selecting all the corridor pieces and Control g grouping them up as corridor. Being able to group things up like this is one of the biggest time savers of Peak, and in a minute I'll show you how fast it is to do a hierarchy cleanup. All right, I'll select everything and move it over, and let's drag in some more floor pieces. From the project window, I'm bringing in a few pieces to work with, and I'll reset the position on each one because there's another really cool thing I want to show you, which is right-clicking gives me x-ray vision into everything behind the click. That includes all the objects behind other objects and their parents. If for whatever reason you have a parent you want to center on the children underneath, just go to the transform and select center on pivots or center on bounds. Pretty nice to not waste time fussing with the hierarchy. 
I'm going to speed things up to prototype out the hangar and the diner. I like the idea of a space base warehouse repurposed into a diner, and it also fits repurposing the assets. So with Control F, I get a peak fuzzy finder for the things in my scene. It's useful for finding things, but since it's great for selecting things quickly, I found another really cool use for it. I've aligned objects with different scene views, and when I want to check on what I'm doing from one of those views, I search for that view object, so I'll just type view. I select the view that I want, and then I zoom into it with my own shortcut, Control alt space I'll set up another object here for this far away overhead view. Whether or not this is useful to you, the exciting thing is that with new tools, new ways to work emerge. And for me, being able to switch scene views quickly is awesome. It's great for time lapses, and it helps in compositional framing. Okay, let's see what pieces are going to work for this diner. Maybe that's a cash register, wall vent, bar stool seating, maybe that's an oven, and uh, all right, let's work on this window. The Unity Snaps assets are actually ProBuilder objects, and so I'm going to just show you a little bit of ProBuilder and Peek together as I extend this window so it's a little bit more horizontal. Okay, let's see if this is going to work for the bar stool. And then uh, I'll bring the robot over, because who doesn't like robot waiters? And then I really like the idea of these generic sci-fi crates being repurposed as diner booths. I think that that's really believable. Because, you know, I doubt they'll go through the effort of shipping diner booths up to Mars. Okay, let's check the entrance view. And yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. But I think the windows are a little bit too big. I see this as a place where workers go after their shift, so it's a refuge space, a little bit cozier. I'll check the entrance view again. All right, and as far as the prototype stage, I think this is in a good spot, so let's try swapping in some of the final art. Actually, before we do that, let's check out the hierarchy. I have a ton of game objects, and they're not organized, so I'm going to organize them by section. I'm switching to my overhead view so it's easy to select things. I've deactivated the terrain, so I won't be selecting that. And now I'm going to just uh, click and drag and select everything. And press Control G to group it up as diner. Then I'm going to search for the corridor uh, so I don't worry about selecting that. And also the doorway. And I have two of those, so I'll select both of them. And this is nice. You can see how there are two uh, previews. So I'll deactivate those. I'll also search for the diner and click on the diner icon to disable that. I'm grouping this up as the warehouse. And this time I'll disable it here in the hierarchy so you can see that. Okay, and that leaves the hangar. All right, then I'll fold this up. Hierarchy organized. Okay, turning everything back on. And with that done, now I can switch in the final artwork. And I'm gonna make this pretty fast because you've seen it before. So here's a new one. Uh, let's say you want to drag a material from one thing to another thing. Like these floor tiles that I have, I don't think quite fit. Rather than them be metal, I'd like them to have this uh, space plastic. All I need to do is click on the space plastic and drag it from this thing to the other thing. And let's say for this wall, I just want to duplicate the other wall. Ah, uh, but here, this is kind of annoying because the toolbar and the gizmo are overlapping. Well, you can just turn off the toolbars with the B key. All right, let's land a ship. Looking good. And uh, when you use the create tool, it ends up as a child of whatever object the create tool hit. So in this case, it hit that pod floor. I'm just going to drag it up into underneath the hanger. Now, all that's left to do is make my actual idea. <laughs> um, I'm going to work on the diner for a little bit. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. And let us know if you're interested in us doing more videos on environment art, level design, and workflow tips. That's all for now. So stay safe out there, Earthlings. And have fun getting a little bit more lost in your Unity worlds with Peak.